caravan of impoverished migrants is now making its way up from Central America through Mexico. Their plan is to present themselves at our southern border and demand entry into our country with all the benefits, of course, that that entails. First of all, they're not demanding anything. They're coming here to get a better life because in their country there's poor and there's crime and there's no fucking money. The White House has vowed to stop this caravan using the armed forces if necessary, but it keeps coming. Have you heard something like that before? Yeah, it sounds like some Hitler shit. Well, in fact, you have. Something very similar happened just a few months ago. We watched another migrant caravan snake its way up from Central America. Yeah, this fucking redneck is snaked its way up. Why? America. It finally arrived, and then the news coverage essentially stopped. But what happened next? Well, here's what happened next. Hundreds of those people in that caravan are still here in the U.S. And if recent history is any guide at all, very few of them will ever leave. Once you reach this country and claim asylum, you're usually home free. Armenia don't often cover that, but the rest of the world is watching and knows it very well. And that's why they keep coming. The most recent estimates suggest that a caravan's worth of uninvited migrants arrives at our border every few days. You hear this? Uninvited migrants. Isn't that how we, the white people got this land? Why is this happening? Because an entire political party is inviting it and encouraging it. They believe unchecked immigration will strengthen their hold on power. They're perfectly aware that you don't like this, but they don't care. Just yesterday, Nancy Pelosi said it would be, quote, immoral to build a wall that might stop poor people from flooding into this country. Watch. We have to do something other than building a wall, which you characterize very well. In my view, it's immoral, expensive, ineffective, and not something that people do between countries. Did you catch that? Securing the border is just, quote, not something people do. Not something decent people do anyway. Bigots do it. So do moral reprobates and anyone else who derives pleasure from cruelty. As MSNBC explained just today, borders are a lot like slavery or the trail of tears. Watch. This is a moral outrage that harkens to the worst excesses in the history of the country, to the separation of families at the slave auction blocks, yes. to the separation of Native American families. It is a moral and my outrage. Said, I love you. I really do. I love you too. I'd like to move next door to you. <laughs> they're morally outraged. Well, they're always morally outraged, and the point of their moral outrage is pretty clear. America has no right to decide who lives within its borders. Americans lack the moral standing to make that decision. We are too sinful. Illegal immigrants come here because we deserve it. We meddled in their wars in the 1980s. We have the gall to get addicted to the drugs they send us. We want that segregation the American stuff. What you hear this the drugs they send us. Wow, in all the country houses they're making meth and shit. Making it themselves. It's not coming from another country. They're making meth and shit, so what the hell are you talking about? People need to stop making other countries seem like they're bad. These are human beings. And there are good people that want a better life. And if you're stereotyping people because of their race or their color, you're a fucking racist. Trump supporting piece of shit. Ever. The point is, this is a fallen country. 22 million illegals within our borders is just the beginning of our penance. Latin America is listening to all of this and they are getting the message and that's why they're on their way. Last fiscal year, 94,000 families from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador were detained at the U.S. border. Not one of these people had a right to come in, but they were not. You hear this shit? This is just crazy. In America, and I'm American, you're taught as a child all throughout your life that America is for freedom. It's for people that want freedom. The freedom to be and do what you want and how you'd like as long as you're not messing with other people. They're coming to this country not because they don't like their country. They would love to stay in their country. It would be like an American leaving America. It's not, it wouldn't probably be because you want to. It's because you're being forced to. If you're in a country where there's crime all the time, where there's no money, 
or you're seeing your family starve and they're all hungry and there's nothing anybody can do because there's no jobs, there's no money to circulate to help you. And anyone who hasn't went through that and they're trying to judge other people, that's why you think you have a right to be judging because you've never been in that situation. You've never been poor. You've never been hungry. You've never had to worry about your family. You stop being so self-absorbed and educate yourself. Watch videos if you have to of other countries and see what the fuck is happening they wouldn't be coming to this fucking country if they weren't looking for a better life it's just ridiculous these Trump supporters are just completely ignorant stupid uneducated deported almost 100% of them are still here and most will never leave we are powerless in the face of this. Congress could fix it, but Congress refuses to fix it. The system is broken by design. Voters know this, of course. It's one of the main reasons they voted for Donald Trump two years ago. They don't hate immigrants, obviously, but they do believe America has a right to decide which immigrants to admit. All countries have that right, don't they? That would be an interesting debate. You hear this? He's saying, no, they don't hate immigrants, obviously. Get the hell out of here, really? Look at that face. He doesn't even believe the bullshit he's saying. The Democratic Party and their lackeys in the media don't want to have that debate because they know they would lose. So instead they try to bully the population into silence. The GOP argument on immigration isn't one that's optimism based, it's fear based. This is a scare tactic, right? This is the president. This immigration is a scare tactic he's using to rip up his supporters. When you talk about caravan, you're talking about white anxiety. You're talking about old white man angst. And so when they bring up the caravan, that's all we need to do is to bring up the pictures of children being separated from their families. In other words, shut up, racist. We've probably heard that before, too, like every day for the last two years. What do you expect? What do you think people see if, you're, if you don't understand that people are coming here for a better life. How ignorant are you? You privileged piece of shit. Just because you're born in this fucking country doesn't give you any other any right than anybody else. A piece of paper or not. The fuck you talking about? They have to come here and get a piece of paper to be able to stay here and that, that's why you have a problem with it. No. Nobody gives a fuck how anybody feels. They're like human beings. They have a fucking right just as you do. Just because you're born on this piece of fucking land gives you no more rights than anybody else. And you're talking about people aren't racist. All right, let's go see people supporting Trump. Let's go see if, how not racist they are. Let's see. You hear it a lot because it's an effective... Muslim is not a religion, it's an ideology. Donald Trump thinks that he gives these rednecks rights to say whatever the fuck they want. And you have to remember this, that at one point, after Donald Trump got elected, the KKK even came out and did a march. Because they felt they could do that now that Donald Trump was president. Because of the things that he says, he makes it seem like he's a complete fucking racist and it's okay to be a racist. Somebody like that shouldn't be running a fucking country. That since you're little, you're taught that freedom is for all people. Justice is for all people. Liberty for everyone. It's just, it just fucking ridiculous. That these stupid rednecks and shit and dumb Donald Trump supporters think that they have a right to say whatever the fuck they want. That's not what we're taught. To be fucking hateful and just ignorant and, and just uneducated. It just... Jesus fucking Christ, America is looking stupid from these people. Um, 
um, dictating type of weird situation that's happening in America right now that people are actually listening to this idiot. This is becoming a huge cult. All the Trump supporters are, are cult members to me. You're fucking ignorant and you're stupid and you can't think for yourself so you're fucking listening to this moron that has no idea what the fuck he's saying, that has been privileged his whole life, that had everything handed to him, never had to fucking work for anything because he was a rich fucking kid. Get the fuck out of here. If you don't know what life is about, you definitely shouldn't be running this fucking country. Because this is what people think they're out to do. People that support Trump try to say, no, I'm not racist. Yeah, you are, bitch, because you wouldn't be supporting this this guy if you weren't. Bunch of rednecks. If you don't speak English and don't contribute, get out. How scary is this? A bunch of ignorant, redneck... Jesus Christ, bro. You gotta be kidding me. You hear this shit? Hang that bitch. This... Yo. This is what America is coming to. If, if you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. We've went through this shit in America before. And it's just beyond fucking ridiculous that people are so fucking stupid because they're uneducated. They don't know about their fucking history. They don't understand right from wrong because they were fucking taught wrong growing up. Their parents did a horrible job. Anyone standing in this crowd right now, your parents failed as parents. the whole time I'm watching this.